Welcome to our video on adding decimals and like fractions, so fractions with the same denominator. Originally, Mrs. King was going to be in this video with us. We recorded over lunch, had it all ready to go, and then when we went to put the video together, it didn't record any of the screen or us, and you just hear strange voices with a blank screen. So I had to do it again. So just pretend Mrs. King is right here with me. So this lesson is on adding decimals and fractions. This time they're just going to have negative signs, so we call them rational numbers. A quick review for our adding integers. If they have the same signs, you're going to add and keep the signs. If you're going to have different signs, you're going to subtract them and take the sign of the bigger or the larger number. For decimals and fractions, you're going to treat the, them the same way. Decide based on the sign if you're going to add or subtract it, and then what the sign will be for your answer. So for decimals, remember to always line up the decimal points and the numbers in order to set up the problem. So remember you got to line up those decimal points. Sometimes you might have to add some extra digits, but here's how you think through it. 7.35 or 7 and 35 hundredths plus a negative 3 and 77 hundredths. So they have different signs, so we're going to subtract them. Remember for subtraction put the larger number on top. So 7.35 on top, 3.77 underneath. You're going to subtract. Can't do 5 minus 7, so I have to borrow. Makes this a 2, and that becomes a 15. 15 minus 7 is 8. Can't do 2 minus 7, so again I borrow. Make this a 6, and it becomes a 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. The decimal slides down. 6 minus 3 is 3. And then remember your sign. The bigger number in this case was the positive number, so I know it's going to be a positive 3.58. Over here, 9 and 207 thousandths, sorry, negative 9 and 207 thousandths, plus 14 and 88 hundredths. They have the same signs, so we're just going to go ahead and add them together. Remember when you add them together, you have to line up your decimal points. So in this case, I have to add an extra zero at the end. I get 7, 8, 10, carry the 1, 14, carry the 1, and then my decimal is going to slide straight down. They're both negative, so I add them together and I keep the sign, so I would get a negative 24 and 87 thousandths. Last one, 8, negative 18 plus 4 and 33 hundredths. They have different signs, so I'm going to have to subtract. 18 is bigger, so 18 goes on top but I need to add my decimal and two zeros in order to be able to line them up. And I have 4.33. Gonna have to do a little borrowing here. Can't borrow from here, so I gotta come all the way over here and make this into a seven, which makes this into a 10. Can borrow here, makes it a nine, and this one makes it into a 10. 10 minus three is seven, nine minus three is six. Bring down my decimal. Seven minus four is three and a one, and then remember take the sign of the larger number. Negative 18 is bigger than 4.33, so my answer is going to be negative 13 and 67 hundredths. All right, so now on to fractions. So for fractions, the numerators are what we actually add or subtract. So the negative sign goes along with the numerators. So whenever you see a negative on a fraction, always think of the negative going with the numerator of the fraction. And then of course, because it's a fraction, don't forget to simplify. But otherwise you do the problem exactly the same way. So 9 sixteenths plus 3 sixteenths, they have the same signs, so we're gonna add them together. 9 plus 3 is 12. Denominator stay the same. And then don't forget to simplify. 12 and 16 can be divided by 4, which gives me an answer of 3 fourths. They're both positive, so it stays positive. Negative 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh. So I always think of my negative as going with my numerator. They have different signs, so I'm going to subtract. 3 minus 2, 1 is 2. Denominator stay the same. And then remember, if they have different signs, take the sign of the larger number. 3 is bigger than 1, so it's a negative 2 sevenths. Last one, 
negative 4 6 plus a negative 5 6. Same signs, so we're going to add them together and keep the sign. So negative 9 6. That can be simplified. They can both be divided by 3. So I get negative 3 over 2 because I divided by 3. That's an improper fraction. So when you change it to a mixed number, focus on the fraction. The negative is just going to kind of hang out. It's going to be a negative. 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over. So I get negative 1 and 1 half. So treat the decimal or fraction the same way you would any other problem. Follow the same rules in terms of setting it up. Now you just got to pay attention to the sign. Are they the same signs? Then I add them together and keep the sign. If they're different signs, then I'm going to subtract and take the sign of the bigger number.